Hello world, how are you all doing? I hope you're really doing fine. And it's been a long time since I last streamed, I know. I have just released an app that uh, I will go through. You can already see it here right above me. Uh, let me just move it a bit up so you can see fully. So I just released an app that is about crosswords and um, you can create your own crossword puzzles with your own questions. And I just uh, released version 2.0 of that app. And I also released a Mac app. It's now available on, available on iOS, on iPadOS and on macOS. And I thought I will try to bring it on VisionOS as well. And um, yeah, I think this is just a challenge. And I just wanted to see how easy is it to bring a Swift UI app onto the Vision Pro if it already is optimized for iPadOS, for iOS and for macOS. I haven't done anything yet to make the app optimized for Vision OS other than simply using Swift UI and trying to follow Apple's most modern, most, um, yeah, most recommended APIs. And I haven't even like added the target um, on, on actually on the Xcode project to see what happens if there is any issues. And I have a few third party libraries. So maybe there is a third party library that is simply not yet compatible. Then we have to make it compatible, stuff like that. We will all figure it out together in this stream, in this video. And we're going to start with uh, the first step. I think what you need to do whenever you want to add support for a new platform is you have to go to your project settings onto your target into general and add the new target you want to add. So we have the new target Apple Vision here and there's actually one which is called design for iPad. Run your unmodified iOS app on, iPad, on Apple Vision. That's interesting but what we want to do is Apple Vision use Reality Kit and Swift UI to access full capabilities of the Vision OS SDK. So let's see what happens if we do this. Let's enable. All right maybe we can just choose the new target. Oh yeah, it's appearing here. It was not there before. Let's run. Let's see what happens. Okay, build failed. Let's see what the issue is. So we have some problems in review kit. All right, so SK store review controller is unavailable on Vision OS. This is interesting. So this is actually a, an open source library of mine. So I can fix that really easily. That's what, what I was expecting is that some third party libraries are just not yet compatible. So that's the first step that I think you have to do. If you have third party libraries in your app, make sure that those third party libraries are all also working. So uh, we have here review kit. So review kit is a library uh, which uh, makes it really easy for you to um, uh, ask your user for reviews at the right time. And I won't go into the detail. You can just read the uh, readme here. But this is review kit and what we need to do is um, I think I don't have access to this because I have this public account for the stream. Uh, we will just fork it, I think. So let's create a fork. That looks all right. Let me create, uh, let me clone it. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, so this is the first third party tool. In this case, it's actually first party because it's my own tool. Uh, so first thing I'm seeing here is that Vision OS is not on list in the package file. So let's add Vision OS, Vision OS version, is it version one. Let's try that. Let's try to build it for Vision OS. V1 is unavailable. Oh, I might have to update my tools version to 5.9. That might be the issue. Let's build again. And there we go. V11 is deprecated. 12, the oldest supported version. Let's update that as well. I don't like to have warnings in my third party libraries. Okay, it's not building. And that's the issue we're seeing here. Perfect. So what should we do if it's not available? Hmm, I should probably implement a like a question or I should wait until Apple does implement it. For now, I will just say if it's not supported, I will just do nothing. So it looks like we have here another use um, else if OS Mac OS, I think that was. This is iOS. What other versions do we support? iOS, Mac OS, Mac Catalyst. Yeah, I'll just do it like that. If it's macOS, we do this and else. 
Oh, we don't need an else, we just do nothing else. And it builds. So this is the first one that we just made sure that it um, doesn't stop our project from supporting Vision OS. So add building support for Vision OS. Let's commit that and push it. There you go. So the first um, package should be compatible now. Of course, we have to update our dependencies now. Where's the link? There we go. Let's just add that. The branch main looks all right. This is looking much better. Build failed, okay. But something else. So now, okay, this is another library of mine. It's called Henny Swift UI, and it says that the platform has no member headset. Oh, oh. So I have this uh, else if else check. Uh, where I say if it's Vision OS, then return headset. So this is a, a helper, which where you can basically get to the current platform, uh, which is useful in some situations. I'm not going to explain it full here, but basically um, I have the headset here, but I'm missing it up there. So let's create a fix for that as well. Handy Swift UI. By the way, these libraries are all open source. So if you want to use them yourself, this one is, is not documented yet, but it's already used in production apps. So it's fully usable. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of helpers that I'm also going to write about in the future with articles uh, or on Twitter that you can use them and understand how to use them. All right, let's add Handy Swift UI here. And again, I just forked it. And we're going to fix that as well. So I'm just going to let me check first if Vision OS is in here. It's also missing. Let's put the Swift tools to 5.9. Vision OS version 1. Let's put the target to Apple Vision Pro. Let's build it to see where the things are failing. And then we can fix it. All right, here's our issue. Uh, we have TV here. How did I order that? Mac, pad, PC, phone, TV. Let's just keep it like uh, down there. So after uh, TV, we have headset. And then we need headset here as well. In which case we return headset, which we're missing here. All right, just as a quick um, explanation what this is all about, uh, basically what you can do with this platform thing is you can say platform dot value, and you can say, I wanna have a default value like 50, and then for a specific other platform, for example, for headset, I wanna have the value 60. This can be useful for gaps, for sizes, but the type here is really, um, um, dynamic you can use a, it's a generic so you can use any type here you could use I don't know a string here hello uh, user and you say uh, hello spatial user or something like that so that's the purpose of um, this platform thing uh, that should fix the issue it's building right it succeeded nice uh, at buildings, well, that's actually full support. Add support for Vision OS. All right. So again, we need to use all fork down until I actually add it with my full access account, with my main uh, GitHub account to the project. And we have to change it here. All right, we have that here. And just to make sure we want to update the package, let's see what else is fa um, failing. So 
another fail here. This is not a third party fail. This is now because I have in my app some code in some places where I say on Mac OS do this, on iOS do this, where I have to use. For example, here I'm using UI screen. Now my question is, what is the alternative to UI screen on Vision OS? So we don't have screens on Vision OS, right? We just have the canvas. It's more like on Mac OS, you have a canvas and you have window and window sizes. So maybe I should have the same treatment here as I have on Mac OS. So I will just say as uh, OS is Mac OS or OS is Vision OS. So that should fix this here. In many, in many ways, uh, Mac OS and Vision OS are relatively similar because uh, of the window management. Right, you have on iPadOS you have a set screen size. On iOS you also have a set screen size. Uh, on watchOS uh, too, but on macOS your screen size can vary. You can have like an external display that is really huge, and you can have a small display. So you you work with Windows, and the Windows have sizes and stuff like that. And I think Vision OS is very similar to that, where you have Windows floating around in in, in your in your space. That's why. Uh, Size-wise and window-wise, I think I should opt for the macOS version of my app, and in other places I will use the iPadOS version. All right, keyboard is unavailable on Vision OS. Why? There is a keyboard there. I've seen it. All right, but the toolbar placement keyboard is unavailable. That's interesting. Ah, so there is no toolbar on the keyboard. I can attach attach views to. That's interesting. So what, what do I need this for? I have a dismiss keyboard button and a done button. But those are not really doing any features on my app. This is more for like when you are on um, in a screen and you just want to dismiss the keyboards. And this is specifically in options wizard view, user provided pairs. Let me try to render the preview, which will not work because it's not building yet. Uh, user provided pairs view. So this is basically, uh, when you go into a topic and you are in this screen and you have the text field, um, uh, this is this is basically what it's showing. And I imagine on Vision OS, we just don't need this done or our hide button. So what I will do is I will just say if it's on Vision OS, we don't need all this thing here. So if uh, OS is Vision OS, Let's not render this. Why is it still building? Oh, if not Vision OS, of course. All right, another thing which is failing. Um, okay, printer and cannot find printer in scope. So this is um, a feature of the framework printing kit, which is not my framework, but we will take a look and see if we can get it working on Vision OS or at least get it building. So th those are the two different things. You can get a, a third party library building, but not really working, which means you're just commenting out the code when it's running on Vision OS. And um, yeah, this is uh, by Daniel Saidi, by the way, who is an amazing uh, member of the iOS developer community. So kudos to um, him for providing this amazing printing kit. And did someone may sometimes um, somebody already has provided okay in this case not the case uh, has already provided a solution for it so you can sometimes just use the solution that someone else has provided already but we're going to do this ourselves so let's fork it all right that's the third party third um, package we have to make compatible I had already uh, fixed something here with Mac Catalyst now, and um, Daniel was quite happy about that contribution. So he might be happy about this contribution as well. Let's see. First things first. So we have to get this to 5.9. Also, I don't like this comment, which is auto generated, but not needed at all. And let's add Vision OS to the list. All right, let's um, choose Vision OS Simulator and let's build it to see the issues. Build succeeded. Is this the only thing that I needed to add? It looks like it. All right, then I'll just commit that. 
add support for Vision OS. I mean, Vision OS is built on, upon iPad OS, right? That's uh, what Apple officially said. Um, so many things might just work out of the box, and this seems to be the case here. So in this case, because I have actually contributed to a third-party um, developer um, framework, I want to create a pull request so everybody can profit from it. So let's open a full pull request. This is all it does. All right, this looks good. Then let's use my fork. Oh, I closed it, go back. My fork instead of the original one. And this time I can remove this, add this other, and the main branch is correct. Now let's try building again. Yeah, this is gone. So another dependency now has support for Vision OS. Let's run it. Is this the time where our app is running on Vision OS for the first time? And if it is, I'm really interested in how the app will look like, if it will work. Yeah, let's see what happens. Hmm, it's taking its time. Let's just give it some time. I think this is the first time the simulator started, so it might have to do some things in the background. Let's see if I can walk around. Let's move up and down. Oh, it's there. So my app is here. It's working. Okay, everything that happened until now, I was expecting because that's happening also here. So it first tries to log into Game Center. I will say cancel. Can I press this? Oh, I have to select this one. Can I zoom in somehow? Let me try this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, accessibility UI server crash. That's interesting. Let's move this somewhere in the middle. All right, so let me cancel that with the tapper. It's gone. So this is also correct. It will ask you on first app start what your main crossword content language should be. I'm going to choose English here. Okay, I already saw there that there was an issue with the segment that gets selected. And we have another sign in issue or something is wrong here. Why is this empty? So I wonder why this is. Let me change to the say, oh, that's nice. So that work, that's working as expected. Save puzzles, also I can't see anything. Settings. Uh, change language with puzzles. And that's, that's, that's a popover, that's a tip from TipKit. That seems to be working, but I can't see the contents of the screen. That's interesting. I wonder if this has anything to do with Game Center, which is like maybe putting some view up, uh, above it. Can I just switch, turn this around and see if there's anything behind it? There's not really anything behind it. Hmm. I will try something. I will just turn off Game Center entirely and then we'll see what happens. Uh, GK access point dot share does it is active equals two. All right. So this is how basically you can set this to, to appear on your on your screen. And the very easy fix is I could all set all of these to false, but I want to keep them on iOS on, and the other platforms. So I might simply yeah go to all these cases and simply say if not OS Vision OS. Just as a quick fix, my my goal is to get my app um, up and running on uh, to, uh, Vision OS as fast as possible because Vision OS is going to be released in two days. So maybe uh, vision pro i mean so maybe we can get it up and running with these hacks and then i can still provide an update with the proper fixes yeah builds take time sometimes i noticed actually which is quite uh funny if i now stop the build 
and start again, it will complete very quickly. Like if I start the build, wait two seconds, stop it and restart it, look, build succeeded. I don't know why that happens, but if I just create a click run and do nothing about it, it will take a long time. But if I stop it and start it again, I don't know, it's much faster somehow. Uh, installing to Vision Pro, okay. So the connection to the Vision Pro simula simulator seems to be quite uh, slow. All right, the app is here and I wanna go forward again to see everything close. Okay, it's still logging into App Store, uh, Game Center, which is nice, which is fine. But if I press cancel, Yes. Okay. This was a fix. So it was actually related to that. So the selection area is still an issue, but the full empty screen is basically a different problem. And that's that GK access point. Was it called access point? Yeah. GK access point um, puts a layer above the entire app. And we even get TipKit. So TipKit is fully supported and I can close the tip or I can press one of those. And you can see the the target area that is getting marked. Let me zoom further in so you can see it better. Whoa. So whenever I put like the view of the eye onto one of these, you can see it's building something like a circle, but it's not following exactly the, the lines of this. So I have selection area issues, but, but basically it works. Let's see if the clicking and scrolling works. Scrolling seems to work down. It's hanging a little bit, but I'm wondering if that's because I'm streaming, I'm building, uh, running Xcode and Division OS Simulator all at the same time. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. I think only live testing can really uh, answer that problem. It scrolls also to the side. All right, let's see if the uh, view works. So what type of topic to choose? Let's try, let's try Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter. I can answer all the questions there. There we go. So I pressed it. It works. It works quite well. And again, we have the wrong shape. So this is a custom component I built. All right. But if it's, wor it's working, I can say continue. I can go back. I can continue. Okay, the animation direction isn't right, but that's the same on iOS. I can press import on file, new pair. I can type in here. It works. How to dismiss the keyboard on Vision OS. Just clicking outside, clicking here. Okay, I don't really know how to dismiss the keyboard, but it's not in the way, right? I can just continue. I can say like, let me just delete that. Let me try create crossword, see what happens. Okay, the size of this is too small. Vision OS in many ways is similar to uh, Mac OS where um, you have windows and not screens. And on Mac OS, I had to provide everywhere. I had to provide like min height, min width, stuff like that. It looks like I have to do this here as well. But can I change the size here somehow? It doesn't really look like it. I mean, changing the window size can be done here, right? If you go to the edge with your focus, you can just change the window size. But how to change the modal size? Can I change this here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, but with this size, we can't really do anything here. So I'm just going to fix that quickly. And uh, this is the crossword generation view. And I should already have the Mac OS only things here. Let's search for min width. Min width, that's not what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. This should be the entire screen size. And you can see this Mac OS only modifier, which is uh, again, part of one of my um, libraries. It's from Handy Swift UI this time. And basically what, is the, what it does is uh, it checks, like you can, you can um, add some code in the closure and it checks if it's on Mac OS, it um, executes that closure, the modifier. And if it's not, it does 
basically return the view itself. So basically that's an easy way to do, do a one line macOS only thing without having to write this kind of stuff all the time. And in this case, I'm going to uh, choose um, not iOS. So we have macOS only and we have iOS excluded. So except for iOS, do this. And let's see if that's better. It does resize properly, which is nice. Although the, uh, okay, I see another issue. So on iOS, I have a, a fixed amount of elements that I show uh, in my view, but like on macOS, this, I can resize the window and you can see that the images are not looking nice anymore. I have already fixed for that on macOS. So it looks like I have to do a lot of more macOS stuff on Vision OS. So in this case, we're in the topic discovery view. And there should be a macOS only thing here as well. Although I think in this case I used if OS. There you go. So I'm setting a set width uh, on macOS, whereas on iOS I use container relative frame, which is a new uh, SwiftUI modifier, which uh, where you can basically say I want to have exactly four elements on the on on iPad basically, and on the phone I want to have two. Uh, but we want to use this one here, so I'm also I'm missing or OS Vision OS. That's rebuilt, and I will stop right away and run again. All right, now it scales well, and you can see that some topics have more and some less entries. Let's go to Harry Potter again. Let's see if the generation view is fixed. Let's continue. Continue. This actually is also broken because it should show the name of the um, topic here at the top, but it's not. And I still can't resize the model. So I think for all models, I need to use the macOS thing. So let me actually check for macOS only. And then I'm setting a frame with min width. Every time I do this, I should probably also do that on Vision OS. For the play crossword review, I will go simply by saying iOS excluded. iOS excluded. All right, well, let's have a look at this here. Um, it's still not showing the title. I wonder why. But it's not the biggest problem. So let's see what the other screens look, look like. Okay, this has gotten much bigger now. And can I actually scroll here? So I think scrolling is, oh yes, okay, it does scroll. It does scroll and everything looks all right. So we're a bit far away, let's get a bit closer. All right, so another thing I'm learning is that you can resize the window, but it will not resize the model here. So let's get closer. Uh, I should probably connect a uh, Nintendo Switch controller or something so I can control this better. I think this was it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let me test out other features like regenerate. Works. Showing the clues. Works. A bit small, but works. I will first get it working. Share as image. Let's see if this works. So you can choose what we want to share. Puzzle and clues. It gets bigger, the screen. I can press the share button and the share sheet opens but this looks really weird to be honest i will save it to the image you like to access photos yes it worked it looks nice does the printer work even the printer works awesome so daniel saidi if you're watching this your printing kit works on vision os i have confirmed it All right, this looks nice. Let's go to share link as a link to puzzle. Create a public link by uploading a puzzle. Everyone with the link will have access. Let's upload it. So I see the, the models are resizing, which is not the case on macOS where I have set a specific size, but it works. It's not perfect. I should add some spacing here. 
scan QR code. I think I have already spacing there, to be honest. Share link view. Oh, share link view. Uh, share image view. Sorry. And I had a spacer here, if I remember correctly. And I have put it into FOS. There we go. If it's an iPad. All right. So we will do differently. We'll say else if OS is vision OS. Also add a spacer. And we'll also add a spacer below. This should work. But let's continue first. So this works. Can I actually copy the link? Open. OK, I'm not going to test the browser now. I'm just expecting that to work. Let's play the crossword puzzle. Let's see if the play view works. Oh, that's a big screen. <laughs> that's a big window. That's not what I was hoping for or expecting. How can we fix that? This is the play crossword view. Let me check. Play crossword view. We do have iOS excluded. So I'm saying min width 660, min height 660. Maybe I should just set the max here in case of a vision. So let's say vision OS only. Do we have that? Frame. Uh, but it should be resizable. I'm not sure what to do here. Probably I should set a max. But then somebody might want to make the window really big. I actually want to make this smaller. And I can make this smaller. So this opens in a window for whatever reason and not in a modal, a window that I can resize. And it seems to use the size. Oh, what's happening here? Look at this. Okay, I'm going to uh, go with specific sizes, but I'm not sure if we have Vision OS only already. iOS only, iOS, Mac OS, TV OS, Watch OS. Okay, I don't have that yet, so I will just add Vision OS support in Handy Swift UI for these um, modify views. Let's add that here and change TV OS to Vision OS. Now we have Vision OS only. Of course, we have to say Vision OS here. Vision OS excluded. If not Vision OS, okay, this should work. Now we can go back. Um, and here I can now say iOS excluded. Let's make this Mac OS only again. And we will also do Vision OS only. In that case, I will set the height and width explicitly. Should I? Should I provide a max? I should probably provide a max. Max width. What's the order here? Max width. I think our vision is quite w wide, so I'll go for 960 here. Max hey, height will do 850. See what that looks like. Get closer. All right, we're starting again. Harry Potter. Continue. Actually, the close button is gone. So we do have to fix this. All right, let's fix that. Uh, that's the wizard view. Let's see if we have a macOS only thing here as well. Ah, on iOS, I'm using the toolbar. That must be it. Because it's a full screen view. All right, so this should help. Let me check if there is any other if OS Mac OS places, which are similar. Okay, there are a lot of them. 
You see, I've done a lot of work already. Commands. How does the menu work? I think that's not how it works. That's not how it works. That's that could be useful, but we don't have NS, we have UI. All right. Present a small window. That's fine. Paywall view. That's the custom paywall view I have for Mac OS, which I need for uh, Vision OS as well. Because I think uh, I think Revenue Cat does not support Vision OS paywalls yet, do they? And the paywall view is only available if it's not Mac OS and not TV OS. What? Oh, that's the Revenue Cat one. So they say it's available on Vision OS? All right, I'm taking it back. Let me check again. Available on iOS, Mac OS, TV OS not supported yet. Oh, they don't have any explanation about if it's available on Vision OS. Okay, in that case, I will um, not use it. And I think this is pointing to the wrong view. Actually, this should be OS, Vision OS. And then I have my own paywall view which is guarded behind macOS only. All right. Not needed here. This is already done. Mm, do I use toolbar? This could make sense because Play now, regenerate, do we have them? Yeah, they were missing, so we need that. Scroll view on macOS, form. I will try the form. I don't know how good form is rendered on TVM on Vision OS, but if it's based on iPad OS, it could be fine. Whereas on Mac OS, it's really awful. Um, the divider on Mac OS in general, yeah, I think we need that on. Vision OS as well. Let me actually copy that. I'll need it. Same here. Kit image. I uh, no, not needed here. Not needed here. Those are macro specific stuff. Uh, full screen cover this doesn't make sense. So I'm guessing that it's not supported, but it didn't fail. So maybe full screen cover is supported. Ah, that's why it was using the full window size. Ah, that makes sense. So full screen cover basically takes over the window size. That's why it had this weird size. So we may not actually have needed the Vision OS only one thing. Uh, so this might not have been needed at all. Instead, we could have kept to iOS excluded. And let's go back to if OS, Mac OS. So where, where, where do we leave it? Yeah, this should fix it because we're presenting a sheet and then it should get the size that's needed like on iOS. Yeah, like on Mac OS, I mean. Um, this is the show import help. The import button. I'm going for the macOS version here. Same here. Yeah, it's, it's hard if you're watching this, me making the decisions. Um, I know the code, I know what the code does, so I know what probably works better. Um, I could try out everything, but I will just make a best guess now to then fix the things that I guessed wrong. I think that's faster. So, focusable. We do have a keyboard, so I think we don't need that. If OS, Mac OS, pasteboard, wrong. Not needed, not needed. V stack versus form again. I think I'll go for the form. 
the line text alignment. So what is that for report mistake? Hmm. I don't know, but if we are in a form, I think that makes more sense. Sheet, that's something I want. I'm opting for the Mac. Okay, I'm done. So let's take a look at the app now. How nice it works. So one of the learnings for sure is sometimes you want to opt for iOS stuff. Sometimes you want to opt for Mac OS stuff. And basically the uh, rule of thumb for me uh, has been uh, size related, size or model related. Use Mac OS version. And if it's image or like UI image or I don't know, share related, use iPad OS version. Yeah, for me, it, it's been like that. It doesn't have to be like that for everybody. And something is failing. Image paywall header, image resources on my paywall header. Okay. Okay, let's go into the assets. We have the paywall header here. And it's Mac only. Let's add it to Apple Vision. Oh, let me just copy it. All right, that should fix the problem there. Let's get closer again. Okay, now I have to test everything uh, from the start. Let's go for Harry Potter. Okay, now things look much better. You see, this is a problem because it's too close to the edge because it has like these rounding edges, which I did not know or expect. So the padding might need some improvement. Let's go to the wizard view. I'll add another padding for Vision OS in particular. So let me just say Vision OS only. Padding. See if that helps. All right, let's start with Harry Potter. Okay. Oh, oh no, we have a problem now. I put the padding in the wrong place. I want the image to be everywhere, but the contents to be there with padding. So I have to change the position of the padding to after the image. So we do have a Z stack here, which has an image, which should use the full size, but this V stack should have the padding. There we go. All right, let's try again, Harry Potter. This looks nice now. Now the spacing is fine. Let's continue, let's continue. Does this work? Yes. Port file works. New pair works. Create crossword. Works, but you have to scroll a bit. Oh, this is using the form, so I should not have the spacing there. Crossword generation view. Let me actually try this with your preview now. And there is a spacer somewhere, which is not right. Not in the toolbar, but in the form. Is that should not, should not be the problem? A divider. This is the problem. That's what we don't want. Yeah, 
Okay, that should be fixed. Um, now let's continue with the play now. See if it's showing the model now. It's not reacting actually. Ah, oh, because I'm not in the button mode. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> I thought it's. I'm just waiting for nothing. Okay. Actually, the colors here could be a bit improved for better contrast, like the icon here is not really visible. But I think that's a detail improvement that I can do in a later version. For now, this should do the, do the job. I can still scroll here. Play now. That was the thing that is kind of the slowest. Oh, I see the buttons here. Wait, wait a second. What are these? Oh, I have both. I have them here and there. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. So I have a problem in crossword generation view. For some reason, I'm showing the toolbar, oh, toolbar item stuff on Vision OS. I think it's this. Yeah, that's not needed. That's simply not needed because I have the iOS style form and the buttons are already there in the form. Continue, create crossword. Now the buttons up there are gone. Yes, they are gone. Let's play it. And the soft uh, position is nice. All right, so we do have the crossword puzzle. Let's see if we can play it. Also the position, look at the, uh, what's the clue? We don't have a clue. Oh. So the clue is not really visible because the keyboard is on top of it. Young witch talented at Quidditch. Uh, Ginny, I guess. That was right. That should be Ron, Harry's best friend. This should be one of the prankster twins. I think that's Fred. Let's see if I can solve it. Maybe I can solve it. I can prove to you my Harry Potter knowledge. Um, tiny winged Quidditch ball. This is the, uh, and this is in English. I've read it in German, so being able to do it in English is harder for me. Golden snitch. Oh, I think I mistyped that. Golden snitch. Harry Potter author, G.K. Rowling. This must be Hagrid. Judging from the letters, Red Ball and Quidditch, Quaffle. Serious black actor. Gary Oldman. Produced live from one tip, uh, Lumos. Quaffle, ah, oh, that's how it's written in English. I wrote it in a German form. Small cunning creature, often a banker, uh, Goblin. Password to Gryffindor. That's not easy. Let's try a different one first. Later films, visual effects supervisor. Ah, good question. Inflicts unbearable pain. Uh, Crucio. A centaur who teaches. Ferenc. I think we just have two left. Let's try to find a mistake first before we leave the screen. Which entry is wrong? 
yeah, that view works as is. Clue is wrong, answer is wrong, not related to, okay, there could be some more width here in the screen. So these texts are fully visible. Mm, yeah, so I should adjust the width. Found a mistake, found a mistake. Mistake view. Maybe we should do this. Um, I always excluded one. I'll finish the crossword first. Actually, I'm not going to finish it now. I will close it. Oop, I just scrolled up. I didn't know that was possible. And I will say done. And now we will go to the crossword, so the saved puzzles view. And here we have all the saved puzzles and the solved ones if we had any. And now I can open it from here. Let's see if that works. Share as image works. Although we could add padding here. Yeah, let's add padding. Share image view. Um, so that's the V stack here. And we do have padding already, which seems not to be enough. So I will say vision OS only. additional padding. We don't need the padding at the top, maybe. Just, oh no, let's just add it. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, and also I wanted to fix, or did I already fix the width? I think I already fixed it of the report mistake view. So let's try again. I wanna see if the fixes for report mistake view and the crossword, a uh, safe crosswords view, Harry Potter. Okay, we don't actually need to go in there. I can go to save crosswords, select one, a share image. Yeah, the padding is better, not perfect, but better. Maybe I just need to add additional padding of 10. I think the default is more. Um, but that works. And then share a link. Oh, by the way, the field is not correct for saved crossword entry, the hover. And we have the same with share link. So I might need to go to share link view, share um, link view, puzzle link view. Let's add some padding, additional padding there for vision OS, vision OS only. Adding. I could also uh, use a value here, but I want to do it this way. And we need the spacers here as well. I think we do have them here, but not using it. Not that one, but that one. This is for iOS or Vision OS. Oh no, that won't work because we have this UI device current idiom thing. Instead, I will go else if, else if, spacer, and same for the bottom spacer. This should look much better. All right, let's go back. Let's say share as image. We go back to the play now. And now we have this view, which we can't resize, which is a bummer. Why was the other one bigger? Anyhow, let's go to find mistake. And this is even smaller. Okay, we need to do something about this. So both the play crossword and the found mistake view. So mistake view. 
they need more minimum height and width and height. I was excluded with height. For report mistake view. Okay, this seems like this is not enough on that system. So this is going to be Mac OS only, and I'll do Vision OS only. Oh, this is a, a fixed set on height. Maybe we don't need a fixed one at all. And for play crossword, mm, I always exclude it. Okay, that's at least a minimum. But 660 might not be enough still. Mm, yeah, let's make this Mac OS only and let's set a different um, in height for Vision OS only where we have all the space available, right? We don't have to worry too much about min width, min height being too low. Um, 720. The height is the problem here because you can see the buttons are much bigger on this system. The toolbar is much bigger. So I'll do even more on the height. All right, let's try again. And let's go to save puzzles. Oh, press on one. Play now. And that's much better, much better. Found a mistake, also much better. But the width is not good enough. Okay, that the, the width was a problem. So let's go to the mistake view and let's just add vision OS only modifier that just adds a min width. The height seems to be fine. Frame min width, but let's also add a min height. Just in case, let's make it 500. And the min width 600. Actually, should have more height than width. So. Let's just put 600 here too. Uh, yeah, let's take a look first before we complete the puzzle. I'm really interested what's going to happen when the when the puzzle is uh, finished because I have like a uh, an effect where you see confetti, and that's one of the things that we could actually make 3D. Like the entire space could be 3D in an updated version at least, not in the first version. It doesn't have to be there in the first version, which it just work and build and feel native. And as long as you can see confetti, I think it's going to be fine. But I'm really interested in what it's going to look like right now. I think because it's optimized for iOS, the library will simply put it into the window and it will look weird probably <laughs> for a native app. But again, that's something I can fix in an update to make the app use 3D elements because I'm not sure if the confetti uh, framework is going to work directly in 3D on Vision OS. If that was working. I wanted to go here, play the cross crossword puzzle. Let's get closer. Play now. And add a mistake. What does it look like now? Does it look better than before? That is the question. But no, ah, I'm on the wrong one again. There we go. Yeah, with this working, you can see the full title. I can choose Harry Potter author and the size is fine. Nice, let's cancel and let's finish this puzzle. So. Password to Gryffindor Tower. Fortuna Mayor, of course. For Tuna Ma. Was it written in English? No, with J. There we go. Just one left, and I didn't even use any of the tips, but I might need them now. Later films, visual effects supervisor. I really don't know. Something with T and then T, Tim, Burke course there we go i just needed one tip and i solved the puzzle and there is no confetti ah because this, there's one missing this must be snape potions master with a complex allegiance is snape and let's see what happens oh yes so it is rendering in 2d right 
yeah, it was inside the window. So I, I could have, if I had the, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller connected, I could have actually uh, moved the um, camera quickly to see if there was any 3D effect. But I don't think so. It didn't look like it. But we solved one and it's been solved now. And that's amazing. Now I can change the crossword language, which works nice as well. Um, the website link, stuff like that. Do they work? Oh, it opens in app in app browser even. Didn't expect that. Can I close it by clicking outside? I can. Contact developer. I guess it's going to open the email app. Rate the app. Is open the app store? Nice. Or nothing. But I'm assuming those things are going to work. They're just links at the end of the day. Yeah, all of these are links. Um, now we're testing the paywall. Let's see if my custom paywall works. And it basically works. I can see basically everything. One thing I learned is that my accent color directly doesn't look good. So yeah, the, the, the it's working. Can I make a test payment to see if everything works? Let's try that. With my test account. Okay, nothing worked. Nothing happened. Do we have any errors? Product purchase failed with error. There was a problem with the App Store. Store problem. An unknown error occurred. There was a problem with the App Store. Authentication failed. Anyhow, I'm just assuming that this will work. I will test it later with a uh, test flight build or something where it is connect. Oh, I can't. <laughs> How can I test it with a test flight build? I don't have a Vision Pro. Hmm. I guess the uh, App Store review team has to test it then. I mean, they are testing these kinds of things. But otherwise, I think the app basically is working. So all that's left. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, with two fingers, I can. Do a bunch of things here wow i didn't know that so uh, you can move uh -huh, that's interesting okay cool so i would say that my app basically 70 percent let's say already works uh, that's the one screen i didn't try yet so uh, that also needs some minimum width so let's quickly do that as well and I'll just use the same value as here. And that's the uh, report, no, request topic view. Should be a very similar view anyways. Let's put the width like that and the height. Min high, let's say 300. All right, so that should get our Vision OS app quite compatible. And this is the window that we opened it should get quite compatible you can see obviously we need to add the app icon so add app icon and with those steps i think i'm going to be finished with the very basic uh, migration of uh, my crosscraft app that is compatible already with ios ipad os and mac os to the new vision os system and what was really 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 useful is that i had already a mac os app because there were, there were a few things which are specific to windowed apps. And that really helped with the entire process because I could just use the uh, Mac OS version of the code where that made more sense and the iPad OS version of the code where that made more sense. And in general, I would say anything related to window sizing, I needed to use the Mac OS version everything else or mostly like for example on mac i was not using form because i i find the rendering of forms really bad on mac os so i'm using my custom v stack scroll view whatever it makes sense whereas on on ios i'm using the form and you can use forms on tv os um, on vision os they they look pretty good and also like resizing for example this view i had to make it the same as on mac os because on iOS, I have set four, exactly four elements. Um, on iPadOS, I mean, on, on, on iPhone, I set two elements, which is basically makes sense for uh, like 
limited screen sizes that are fixed screen sizes but it doesn't make sense where you can resize the window which is the case for mac os and for vision os so there are a lot of things where mac os and vision os have things in common related to window windows but most of the ui kit framework itself is used here so you have a interesting mix between ipad os and mac os and i would say that probably this is the platform which is merging the advantages and improvements that Apple made on UIKit and with the advantages that we had, uh, by the way, the notes are not fully visible, um, with the advantages that we have on macOS or the uh, window professionalism on macOS that we have already had. And that's probably also the direction they were taking iPadOS and that's why they based VisionOS on iPadOS. I think, I think that kind of makes sense there. And that's it. What else do we need to do to get the app uh, working? We have to fix a bunch of third party libraries. That was something I had expected. And you might have to do that as well. But just see those libraries as part of your code and just add VisionOS support to them. That way you help the entire, the entire community. All right, so that's it for the stream. And just as a quick re reminder, so I just released a new stream catalog translator app. So please take a look at that. You can find this website on sctranslator.app or just search for stream catalog translator on the Mac app store and you'll find um, the app basically. And you can see here again, how it works. You can basically drag and drop your localized um, localizable.exe strings file, choose the languages you want to translate it to and just hit translate now and it will translate it to all the different languages. You need to provide one of the translation services um, key, API key, but note that all of these have huge free tire at here. So you're gonna be able to, um, all of, of all of the four that I support, DeepL, Google Translate, Microsoft Translator and Yandex. All of them have a free tier that is going to be more than enough for most apps I, I can imagine. So um, yeah, you can basically translate your entire app to uh, many languages in the seconds. And the other app, which we just worked on, make sure to check out Crosscraft if you haven't downloaded it yet. Download it, play a game, have fun with it. And if you have any suggestions, um, don't, don't forget to ping me so I can improve the app. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, to the next up DC also. I think Vision OS 2.0 is going to add a lot of features that were missing, uh, improve a lot of things. But yeah, that's it for my stream today. Thank you for chiming in. And I will continue tomorrow and try to finish Vision OS. So thank you for everyone who also came into the chat. Have a nice day. Bye. See you next time.